Hey guys, welcome to MRCS Hacks, where we break down surgical topics for your MRCS examinations. Today's topic is lung cancer, so let's get stuck in. So, these cancers can be broadly broken down into two subtypes. The first is non-small cell lung cancer, and the other is small cell lung cancer. Okay, And we're going to talk about these in more detail. So the first type of non-small cell lung cancer that you need to know about is adenocarcinoma. Now, the exact definition for these are adenocarcinomas are cancers that form in mucus secreting glands throughout the body. Okay, and these account for around 40% of the cancers. Now, in this diagram and in questions, the important thing is these are peripherally sighted lesions. Okay, I'm going to draw them as these peripheral dots so that you're aware that this is adenocarcinoma. In question stems, they're sometimes associated with gynecomastia. The second subtype you need to know about is squamous cell lung cancer. Okay. Now, these are very distinct. They're described as central lesions with keratin pearls. Okay. So I'm going to draw them more centrally with these black dots to signify keratin pearls, okay? And in the body, they are associated with a few conditions that can result as a consequence of them. So the first is hypercalcemia, hyperthyroidism, and lastly, hypertrophic pulmonary osteoarthropathy, okay? HPOA. Now, this is said to be due to um, growth factors that cause periosteal and vascular inflammation. Okay, these are things associated with uh, squamous cell carcinoma, and these constitute around twenty-five percent of non-small cell lung carcinomas. The last one that we need to know is large cell carcinoma. Now these account for around ten percent, and don't really have that many common questions uh, about them. The main thing to remember about these is that they're poorly differentiated. and they have a very poor prognosis, okay? Now let's move on to small cell lung carcinomas. Now these are a question favorite and they're linked to paraneoplastic syndromes of which the formal definition is they're a diverse group of symptom complexes that occur in patients with cancer and they can't be directly linked to local or distant spread of the tumor nor by the hormones normally produced by the tumor, okay? And I've got a nice hack of remembering them and it's actually from the words uh, itself, so it's S, so it's S C L C, okay, and it's very easy. What all you have to remember is that the first one is S I A D H, which comes from re having release of A D H hormone, okay. The next one is carcinoid syndrome, and this happens due to the release of serotonin. The next one is LEMS, which is lambert eaton myasthenic syndrome, which happens due to attack on the voltage-gated calcium channels. And the last one, and the last one is Cushing's, which happens due to the release of ACTH, okay? And I'm gonna draw these all in the center as well, because that's where they're normally placed. But I'm gonna draw spikes on them because of these paraneoplastic phenomena. I think that's all you need to know uh, for lung cancer for the MRCS. If there's any questions, pop them down in the comment below and I'll see you in the next one.